nächste Punktzahl. Most points amongst all cars. Uh, welcome and good evening. Der CEO von Tesla ist bei uns, Elon Musk. Good evening. It's a pleasure having you. Und der Preis wird an dieser Stelle übergeben von Jurymitglied und stellvertretendem Chefredakteur der Autobild, Robin Hornig. Robin? Come over. Good evening, Mr. Musk. It's great to have you here. Robin uh, will uh, first tell us what the jury thought about uh, the wonderful Tesla. Yeah. Um, uh, thank you. <laughs> so um, the Tesla Model 3 maybe is um, the biggest surprise in our test field. The jury thinks the Tesla Model 3 is cool. But of course, you, you get no points for just being cool. <laughs> <laughs> you do. <laughs> so, so therefore, um, the Tesla Model 3 scores for agility, for the equipment, and for its uh, low cost of ownership. And, as you already said, overall, the Tesla Model 3 collects more points than any other finalist. So, congratulations. Thank you. No wonder for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, uh, thank you for this award. On behalf of the people of Tesla, we worked really hard to make the Model 3. I thank you for this award. It was great. Um, and uh, I actually have an, an, an announcement, uh, which I think will be hopefully well received, uh, that we've decided to put uh, the Tesla Gigafactory uh, Europe uh, in the Berlin area. So, yeah. That's the news. That's news. So you come up with this news tonight. This is wonderful. Yeah, great. So we'll see you more often here in Berlin. Yeah, I come to Berlin a lot. Will you come then by the Berlin slow, slow old-fashioned like plane or by great. Hyperloop? I love Berlin. Yeah. Yeah. If you great. come by, but you, when will you ever? When will you come by Hyperloop? I mean, this might happen. <laughs> <laughs> might come by a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you you were here. I think in 2014, uh, uh, achieving the uh, the golden steering wheel for lifetime achievement. Then you came back for Model uh, X, and you promised to come back when Model Three uh, is going to uh, yes. have an award. What will you promise this time? I mean, if you I, I, if you <laughs> keep giving, you know, I mean, he, here's the irony: in the future, there may not be a steering wheel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we talked about that already. <laughs> Yeah, what will there be? I don't know. Tell us. What I mean, we have to design it. Tell us. What, what's your vision? Oh, I don't know, like a hologram or something. <laughs> the golden hologram, okay. Yeah, but for like the AI that's driving the car. <laughs> okay. Yeah, We'll seriously. try to visualize that. Yeah, let's yeah. throw in a hologram. Yeah, Wonderful. Not? It's great to have you here. <laughs> and uh, uh, a good chance also uh, to talk with you a little bit more. Um, ich darf mich von uh, dir verabschieden. Vielen Dank, Herr Hornig. Aber jetzt wollen wir nochmal auf die Bühne bitten. Herbert Dies natürlich, Vorstandsvorsitzender von VW, ist heute Abend bei uns. Und Tom Drexler wird die uh, Gelegenheit nutzen, einen kleinen Talk mit euch okay. zu machen. There's a little chit-chat-talk with the, hey, with the boys. Hi. Herbert, hier. Genau, ihr dürft in die Mitte gehen. Bitte sehr. So, you know each other very well, we know. And you meet each other, sometimes in California, I think. What are you doing when you meet, you both? Telling stories about electric mobility, driving cars, testing, drinking. <laughs> what are you I doing? All those things, I mean, of course. Uh, we, we party like rock stars, it's crazy. Party like rock stars. We talk like, about cars, you know, yeah. and the future because cars. Yeah. Herbert is pushing the Volkswagen Group into electromobility very, very hard. And um, the ID3 is not here this year, maybe next year. Um, are you inspired by uh, Elon or is there no alternative for this new uh, engine? Yeah, first of all, I really I wanted to congratulate you. Great achievement. Now with all this uh, competition here in Germany, winning this award, I think it's great achievement. 
Uh, we know each other, we, we don't meet so often. No, uh, it's, uh, we know each other since uh, a few years, and I would say that we share a vision, yeah, which is that we only can achieve uh, the CO2 targets and reduce uh, carbon emissions through electric cars. And uh, we also share a vision that the car becomes really an internet device, always can connect it, always online. The car becomes really, really safe and uh, uh, totally environmentally friendly. And from time to time, yes, uh, we meet uh, because I think it's, it's nice to follow up. I have to say, I really, I, um, yeah, I thank you for pioneering, for pulling us, for pushing us. Uh, I think Elon is really the innovator which is uh, driving us along and uh, uh, so it's worthwhile to talk about batteries, uh, the right concepts and I always enjoy talking to him because uh, uh, he's really a very visionary. Okay, uh, but what's the main problem Elon in Germany with the e-mobility and in Europe? Why, why is in, in Germany so, why we are so far behind? Ten years maybe? Eight years, five years. What do I say? Well, I, first of all, I, I don't think Germany is that far behind. Okay. Um, you know, uh, the. But I, I think it's always difficult when, uh, you know, the, there's a lot of momentum around uh, an, an old technology. Uh, there's just a lot of infrastructure, a lot of uh, capital, and that kind of thing that's tied up in the uh, the older technology. Um, and uh, when, this, when you have a new technology, the market is unproven. So then you say, like, okay, should, is, does it really make sense to place a bet on this technology that's unproven? You know, and when we started out at Tesla, everyone thought we were huge fools. I thought we were fools too, frankly, you know. Um, but, the, you know, the, it was, I thought it was important to get to ultimately a sustainable energy future. Um, and even if you discount the environmental uh, situation, eventually we will run out of uh, oil. You know, it's a finite resource. Uh, you know, you can't recycle oil. It's not a recyclable thing. It's going to a lower energy state. So um, my, my original interest in electric cars, which goes back to almost high school, uh, was really, from a physics standpoint, uh, we have to have something that uh, is long-term sustainable from an economic standpoint. Um, but I thought this before the environmental consequences uh, became uh, more serious. Okay. And you? What's the problem? We have the minister here, so... No, I, think, uh, I think this, this evening is very important because you now see electric cars really competitive, no? Uh, yeah. winning, winning the, uh, I would say, an, an open uh, competition, uh, which shows that it's feasible. And Tesla is... is uh, that's why Tesla, I think, is very important for us because uh, Elon is demonstrating that it works. No? Elon's customers, they like the cars, uh, uh, also the jury loves the cars, the performance of the cars. It's fun, no? it's not something where we should uh, be fearful or so. Electric mobility is great fun, it's great style, no? it's cool. Uh, the cars becoming really not less emotional, I think cars becoming more emotional is what is coming. And I think we also, we are, uh, I'm, I'm happy that Elon is, is uh, let's say, pulling us. Uh, but I think the German industry is really now uh, uh, strongly investing, and uh, we will keep you uh, yeah, alert. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I think, I think Germany uh, makes great cars. Uh, for sure. You know, it's r r really some of the best cars in the world. Obviously, are made in Germany. Uh, the, the, everyone uh, knows that German engineering is outstanding for sure, um, and uh, you know. That that's uh, you know part of the reason why we are locating our Gigafactory Europe in in Germany, uh, but we're, not, we're also going to create an engineering and design center in Berlin because uh, I think okay. Berlin has some of the best art in the world. And you uh, can tell can you tell us a little bit more about the factory, where it is exactly or something? Um, I that, you know there's not enough time tonight to tell all the details. <laughs> I think um, it's the right time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's um, it's it's uh, in the Berlin area, and it's n it's near the new airport. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, and it's easy. Don't you can. You can <laughs> Do, yeah. Maybe you are faster than the airport. Maybe. <laughs> I so didn't ask him. I was worried about that, actually. Uh, yeah. when, the, when people, I was like, okay. we definitely need to move faster than the airport, that's for sure. Um, okay. But, um, One easy question. 
What is your private family car and what is your private family car today? In the, when you drive well, with your five children to the cinema or to the pizza hut, what well, do you do? Uh, I'll, because my kids are big these days, I'll drive a Model X. Okay. Uh, but my daily driver is usually a Model S. Okay. Yeah. No other car, no from the country. No, no other car. No, I I only own two. I, I own a Ford, old more Ford Model T and a 1967 Series One Jaguar E Type. Okay, ah, oh, that's here. That's it. <laughs> Speed. And what what is your private car today? It's the ID I'm, or I'm not? I'm still in between. No, I I'm driving ID already. You know, since few days. Uh, but my private car is still a Golf. Okay. GTI, which I love. I think one of the best cars cars in the world. And uh, in Wolfsburg, I'm driving a up electric, no, yes, which is know. also okay. fun to drive and uh, accessible. But soon, okay. I will change. OK, thank you both. Nice yeah. to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I take the microphone back. Thank you very much. Vielen Dank, Tom. Du darfst gleich bei mir bleiben.